Okay, a uh, quick vocab lesson time. What does MMORPG stand for? I mentioned MMO in a video a few months back and I was like, this stands for, eh, you already know. But after that video came out, I saw people in the comments and even people on TikTok going like, no, Fofi, I don't know what that means and you never explained it. It's driving me crazy, help, and yeah, Okay, kind of dropped the ball there. So MMORPG stands for Massively Multiplayer Online Role-Playing Game. It's a big multiplayer video game, usually fantasy-based, that people all around the world play online to experience cool stories, gameplay, create characters, level them up, etc. Some of the most popular games of all time are MMORPGs. It's a huge thing, but it's a genre I'm not super familiar with. I've dabbled with a few over the years, but it's just a kind of game I've not really sunk my teeth into until today. Because today I'm checking out a more recent MMO called Tower of Fantasy, who are also graciously sponsoring today's video. <laughs> Tower of Fantasy is, of course, an open world MMORPG with tons of customization, crazy combat, vehicles, and side quests, all on top of its robust story campaign. And the game just received a new 2.1 update, Confounding Labyrinth. And this update's gonna bring tons of new stuff to the game. Chief among them, the new map, Confounding Abyss. This dark, twisted, and expansive underground area that's just crawling with enemies and brutal bosses. This one's called Hara, and I'm scared. But to help you out against these monsters who want to hurt you personally are some new characters, Saki and Lin. The latter of the two we're actually gonna see a little bit later on in this video, but mostly as part of the story. In this new update, she is now officially playable. She fights monsters with a fan. Can you do that? Oh, you can? That's impressive, actually. And all that's available in the game right now as part of their latest update. So if anything you see in today's video seems up your alley, give the game a download and try it out. It's on Steam, iOS, and Android, and as usual, it's linked in the description. But for now, I'm just gonna dive headfirst into this game and see what happens. And you know, just as a warning, I am gonna be talking about the story. So if you were interested in checking out this game or you are playing this game and you're not there yet, just be warned there are some spoilers ahead. These are Fofi's Adventures in Tower of Fantasy. So the game starts out and I'm a gray-haired anime dude being chased by large, multi-headed meat dogs. I name my character Fofi, obviously. F-O-A-F-Y, Fofi, time to go fight dog. Today's definitely not my day. I'm Fofi, this is me. Oh, there's drippy sounds. Those are the little sounds, sounds, sounds. Ew, 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 oh, <laughs> whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, so we got sword. We got sword and we can smash box and we can kill dog. <laughs> I'm playing this on my phone. Like the fact that this is what games can be on your phone now is ridiculous and it's running so smooth. Ugh, it's freezing. If only I had sleeves. <laughs> and go through a few tutorials on the basics. You know, running, climbing, killing. That one's my favorite. But after tearing my way through multiple soon-to-be corpses, I got a little caught up in the trend and nearly joined the Not Alive Club myself. And this thing on my belt called a suppressor starts going on the fritz, exposing me to this intense thing called omnium radiation that permeates the entire land. And uh, naturally, that completely knocks my character out of commission. Target acquired. That's not a good thing to ever hear. <laughs> Walking down the street on an average Tuesday, the one thing you never want to hear anyone say is, Target acquired. <laughs> I wake up a while later in this place called the Astra Shelter with a funny case of amnesia. But it's okay, because I meet a bunch of the locals who have no idea who I am. That'll help. Mainly, we got this guy named Zeke. Zeke sounds like this. Suppressor seems to be fine. Yeah, he does. <laughs> What's your name? And what are you doing all alone in the mountains? I'm Fofi. I fought dogs. <laughs> His younger sister, Shirley, and an assistant bot named Mia. And as I look out onto this vast, beautiful landscape, I... Can't help but think of the endless adventure that awaits me. Cat! <gasps> I can cat! <gasps> best game, best game ever. Best game, best game. He's a little guy. Oh, he's a little, he's just a little buddy. What was I doing? Oh, right. I, I don't know yet. <laughs> I meet a few more people around the shelter, customize my character. Funny glasses, please. Size, big funny glasses. <laughs> yes, Mia hopes you will pay more attention to your health. Wow, judgmental. And then Shirley accidentally lets a bunch of robot spiders into the shelter. How'd that happen? Whoa, spinning. That one's funny looking. Let's kill it. Whoa, whoa I don't like the look of that. <laughs> okay, it blows up sometimes. <laughs> I don't like it when it blows up. That, that's not convenient for me. Whoa, okay. That blow up was good because it killed it. <laughs> Where are the monsters? Are they gone? I killed them. I beat those guys up, no problem. But then 
ambush. There's a lot of big guys. There's a lot of big guys to deal with. Okay. There's so many big, there's so many big guys to deal with. This is a little overwhelming. I'm trying. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is the opposite of what we wanted. Okay, classic video game turret section. Uh, oh, I'm not pressing the button. There was a button right there and I wasn't pressing it. Oh my God, I really messed this up. I really gunked this up. The game was like, do this. And I was like, where am I? <laughs> I'm learning, I'm learning. I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting, <laughs> okay. I managed to not fail spectacularly. I only failed mediocrely. <laughs> Whoa, awesome, awesome. This is cool. This is really cool. This just got cooler. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! This is so cool! Tons more enemies invade the shelter, and Zeke gets caught in the middle. Shirley jumps in to protect him, creating this giant force field, but doing so wiped out her suppressor. That's what happened to me! But this one's left her in a much worse state. Her condition is messed up, dude. With her suppressor all gunked up, the Omnium radiation starts infecting her and turning her into some kind of monster. That's, uh, not good. Things get pretty heavy here, and it culminates with Zeke taking Shirley into the suspicious portal and completely disappearing. Now what? So, we have our setup. Shirley's in danger, Zeke's gone missing, and Mia and I gotta find him. First, we head to this place called Hykros. We don't have much information about the abnormal energy flows of the Astra Omnian power. You like my hammer. It's very threatening. But don't worry, it's also very heavy. <laughs> Everyone at the shelter is worried. Could it be a mechanical malfunction? I don't know. Do you think it's something I could fix with my giant hammer? <laughs> Back to the central tower. The central tower that I built with my, never mind. <laughs> no sign of Zeke there. So we head off to this place across the pond called the Banjus Dock. Oh, do I have to just go into the water now? Ooh, yes, jet board. Surf's up, dude. Woo hoo. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh no, oh no, I messed it up. Oh, I messed it up. Oh, I messed it up immediately. I messed it up immediately. <laughs> Aw. That was almost cool. The game was being cool, and I decided that it wasn't okay to be cool anymore. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <sighs> now we're on it. Now we're on it. Now we're... Getting there was a breeze. Here we meet this girl named Hilda, who says we should check with the leader of their town, Mr. Colador. And there are lots of stories about him. Let me tell you all about them. Okay, yep, uh, we're just gonna jump forward here a bit. Let's skip ahead a bit and check out some of the newer stuff in the second major map, Vera. So the story continues and uh, a lot has happened. Apparently we found Shirley, but now she's this super cool superhero after getting some kind of fancy surgeries, but Zeke is still nowhere to be found. So with nowhere else to look, Mia, Shirley, and I all hop into a portal to a whole new part of the world, the Vera region. Maybe someone there can help. And hey, pretty good start. The group of us arrive in this cozy looking research station. Yeah, this is nice. Things go wrong fast. A bunch of enemies called gray space entities ambush the place. Big, creepy robo squids. Yeah, don't like them. Ooh. Whoa, they're fast. Okay, they're very fast. Whoa. Whoa. Fighting squids, giant squids. They're very fast. Oh, we're fighting in the air. Okay, yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. Ooh, that was good. That, that felt good. Boom, got him, dead. No more squids. Then, for good measure, a massive stan stand storm. Then, for good measure, a massive sandstorm swoops in and we just gotta try and outrun it on these speeder bikes. The funny glasses were a very practical choice now in retrospect. Despite the monsters chasing us, this is a relatively smooth ride. <laughs> okay, it seems that the goal here is to not crash. <laughs> Which, you know, probably should have probably should have seen that one coming and to begin with. But yeah, the goal here is to not crash into anything. <laughs> then, of course, both bad things start happening at the same time. A huge horde of gray space entities attack in the middle of the sandstorm. Luckily, a team of people led by this girl named Lynn jump in to help us out. These guys are all from Miroria, this crazy looking cyberpunk city floating above the Vera Desert. Let's go, sandboarding. Nice, this is cool. Okay, doesn't last forever. Yo, what's this guy? Who's this funny thing? Look at this funny guy. Look at this guy. Oh my god, look at this thing. It's just a funny little sand creature. He don't mean no harm. It's like a sand llama. I like it. Ooh, what's this? I'll get there eventually. In response to the gray space entity's threat. Ooh, <laughs> look at that place. There's a big old triangle. And between a desert full of monsters slash dangerous weather and cool triangle city, 
Yeah, we're going to Mororia. Ooh, ah, shiny. Triangle. This place looks wild, dude. So Lynn shows us around the place and introduces us to Archon Larson, a higher up here in Mororia. Unfortunately, they've not seen Zeke anywhere, but they do have a theory Abyssin fields. So, you know those gray space entities, the robot squids? Yeah, don't like them? Yeah, apparently there's really big extra bad ones called Abyssins. They're so powerful that they basically create their own, like, space time? And it's possible that Zeke got lost in one of those. My guy got lost in an abstract theoretical concept. Yeah, there's still a way we could possibly find him if that were the case, but there's not much we can do about it right now. Because Lynn decides that what we should do right now is learn! It's time to learn. You play a video game to have fun? No, you play a video game to learn. Formerly the home of High Crosses District 7, Mororia's main building Mororia's among the gray main space buildings entities, were constructed in 2657. It has a space-time engine developed by the High Crosses Institute of the Research and Industrial Yeah, so after doing our Mororia homework, we get called back to Archon Larson, who has a job for us. He's like, hey, uh, there's a bunch of very creepy rifts opening up in the desert. They make me scared. Please do something about it. Yeah, apparently gray space Space entities are sneaking into Vera through spooky space-time rifts, and we gotta go slap them around for a while. I drive my speeder bike, that's definitely cooler than yours, to this underground cave full of mushrooms, gray space entity eggs, and blue. One of those scary rifts just closes up as we arrive, and all the eggs conveniently hatch at once. But I had it all completely under control. There's so many. Oh my god, there's so many! Ah! <laughs> I cannot handle this amount of Robo Squid. I had it all completely under control, but we still had to track down where all these gray space entities and eggs were coming from in the first place. And this leads us straight to the Abyssin field. And what that means is that there's a boss fight coming up. Oh, uh, I guess these guys tried fighting the Abyssin already, only to be captured by its supernatural reality defying grabby hands. Oh, and there it is. They look friendly. Okay, so how's this work? I just slash them up like normal? Oh, <laughs> wait, everything is happening all at once. I can't read, but then what does that say? I, okay, I maybe panicked a little. So the thing with this fight is the grabby hand. Throughout the battle, a portal will appear and the Abyssin's hand will attack from behind. If it manages to touch your back, you lose, but only if it touches your back. If you face the portal head on, the hand won't be able to get you. So I gotta keep on my toes. Not only do I gotta chase the Abyssin all over the map and try and knock off as much health as I can, I also gotta be ready to turn around at any given moment to fend off the grabby hand. So I dig my heels into the dirt, grab my weapons and fight off the Abyssin poorly. And just like that, the Abyssin is defeated, the people it captured are set free and the day is saved. For now. Alin takes Shirley and I to this hotel so we can rest up for the next day. The water heater and air purification system have been turned on, and you're good to go. Have a good rest. Action! Adventure! Tower of Fantasy! And that's about all we got time for for today. <laughs> but what about Zeke? What's gonna happen in the Confounding Abyss? It looks scary. What happens next? Well, MMORPGs are very long games, so I don't really have time to go through too much more today. But if you really want to know, you should try the game out for yourself. Again, that link is in the description. But once again, thank you to Tower of Fantasy for the sponsor. Now, if you'll excuse me... It's just a little guy. It's just a little guy.